Hi, my name is Arkadiusz Trzciałek. I am a fixed income strategist at Pekao Bank Polski. We believe that Polish bonds will hold on to gains from the earlier part of the year, leaving the yield curve rather flat. In our forecasts, we assume that two-year, five-year and ten-year bonds will finish the year around 1.5%, 1.7% and 1.9% respectively. Persistent risk aversion, stemming to a large extent from global trade tensions, led investors to prefer safe assets. The rally on bonds from core markets was also visible in Poland, as the yields on Pol GBs were strongly correlated with boons in the last couple of months. Although hopes for at least partial trade agreement may ignite risk on moods, we expect that it will be largely offset by an inspiring macro picture. As the Fed and ECB are once again easing their monetary policy, we believe it's unlikely that the Polish MPC will move in the opposite direction and actually raise rates. Even though local inflation is likely to breach the upper band of the central bank's target of 3.5% in the first quarter of 2020, the NBP governor already suggested that it should not change the consensus among rate setters who favor rate stability. Such a scenario, combined with loose monetary policy elsewhere, should support valuation of Polish bonds. Our positive view on the local debt market in the final quarter of the year comes also from scarce primary supply. The Ministry of Finance has already financed 2019 borrowing needs and is pre-financing the next year needs. According to the budget draft, the deficit in 2019 is likely to be much lower than initially planned, whereas in 2020 the government expects a balanced budget. The Fed has already slashed its interest rates twice this year, whereas the ECB introduced new measures including a restart of its QE and deposit rate cut. The market is convinced that monetary authorities are unlikely to limit their actions to those that have been already done and expects further rate cuts coming from both banks. Although the central bank action may not necessarily lead core benchmarks to new lows, we believe it will prove supportive for bonds in the EM space, including Paul GBs. Additionally, the outlook for the global economy is not as good as growth is expected to slow down. The GDP in Poland may also lose some of its strong pace due to global factors. However, strong consumer demand may smooth the path. Inflation in Poland moved above the central bank's target for the first time since 2012. Our economists expect it may climb even higher, breaching the 3.5% level in early 2020. A spike in inflation is reviving some of the hawks within the Monetary Policy Council. However, they still remain in the minority. In recent months, one of the MPC members actually filed a motion for a rate cut, which highlights conflicting views among monetary authorities. We believe that rates will stay on hold in Poland in the coming quarters. However, increasing core inflation should limit potential for a downwards move on two-year notes below 1.5%. In the fourth quarter, the Ministry of Finance plans to hold only one regular auction and up to four switching tenders. This, combined with the fact that some 12 billion zloty will be transferred to the market due to redemptions and coupon payments, results actually in negative net supply. Total issuance in the fourth quarter should be well below 25 billion zloty, significantly lower than in previous quarters. The debt authorities limited bond supply chiefly due to robust fiscal performance and a hefty liquidity cushion. Thank you for your attention. In case of any queries, please do not hesitate to contact me.